everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the pixie palace and we are back we're at the end of the month oh my goodness and don't worry i won't say it <laughs> um it's august 29th 2021 and we're doing our usual weekly oracle card reading and seeing what the universe has to offer about our life direction and I'm feeling a little bit of excitement this week. We're starting to go into the fall month. And to be honest, fall is one of my favorite seasons. I love it when the leaves turn different colors. And I'm really looking forward to the month of September. But let's not get hasty now. August is still here. And August has been a very defining month for a lot of us. And I'm really feeling that a lot of us made progress um, and it doesn't have to be in huge strides, but enough progress to notice that we have shifted for the better. We may still be in the thick of some things and that is okay, but we're learning to ground ourselves a little more, um, taking more moments to have a little more grace, maybe to have a little more fun and just really appreciate our surroundings and appreciate our life path. So. So with that, we are going to shuffle the cards. I am using The Universe Has Your Back by Gabriel Bernstein. And we're going to see what the universe has to say. So let's get into it. And as usual, I'm only doing the one card draw. Uh, with these messages, take whatever resonates for you and discard the rest. Oh, interesting. I surrender to a power greater than me. And you notice that butterfly, I, I find this beautiful and very interesting because a lot of us have been in that cocoon state where we've been doing the shadow work, we've been working on ourselves, maybe even um, pushing things to the back burner and going, yes, we'll just stay in the stage for a while and we'll deal with that later. Are we finally had to face our fears, face that work, and really just get through it, really work through it. And now we're going into that butterfly stage, showing our growth, um, expressing our authenticity, and we're surrendering to that self-power. When we really start trusting in our path and start trusting in the universe to have our backs when we really need it, even when we feel that maybe it doesn't, it always does. It may not always show up in the form that we expect it to or that we think it will, but the universe always has your back as long as we take that first step and keep working on ourselves and keep going in our path. And we, um, even if we fall down and have our moments, uh, we're gonna mess up sometimes, we are going to bail and we're going to lick our wounds for a little bit. That's okay. As long as we keep getting back up and working through it, that's when we make our progress. That's when we actually start aligning within ourselves. We start noticing our own power and we start taking our power back. We start becoming less afraid. And I'm not going to say it's going to be perfect. Um, we're never going to be in a life where everything goes perfectly well and we never have problems again and we uh, just do everything 100% correct all the time. No, that's not realistic. We're not here to have a perfect pick cookie cutter life. We're here to experience things of all different forms and all different emotions and experiences. But as long as we keep growing, we'll keep showing our wings like the butterfly will show how beautiful we all become and how um, we become a better version of ourselves. That's what the butterfly is all about. It's kind of a loop, but sometimes we have to go into that cocoon state to really work on things, take a step back, protect our energy, and fill our own cup to serve others and to do our light work in this world. No matter who you are, no matter what you identify as or what you identify with, we are all here for a reason. We all have a mission. And when we start discovering what that is, we become that butterfly. We become a better version of ourselves and we keep 
working on ourselves and we keep being a better version into another better version. It just keeps going and going. And we don't have to do anything grandiose or huge. A lot of us mistake that we have to do this huge thing before we leave this world in order to have made an impact or had a difference. No. And I fall in that trap too. I fall in like, oh, I hope I help others. And maybe I help somebody without even realizing it. And sometimes we're not going to know if we have or not. But sometimes we have to trust in that and trust to that higher power and trust in ourselves. We always have the power within us. We just had to realize that. We just had to remember that. We had to remember our true selves and who we are as a soul. So this is like a multi-level <laughs> message here and I may be going all over the place, but just know it's okay to trust. It is okay to trust in the process. It's okay to trust in a higher power, but, but ultimately trusting yourself as I hear garbage trucks in the background. So <laughs> I surrender to the higher power of the garbage trucks. No, I'm kidding. But, <laughs> but I'm rambling here, but it's really, really a beautiful thing. When we surrender and get out of our own way and realize the potential we have and realize the impact we have on this world just by being here, just by you being in this world, you're having a positive impact on someone. Even if it's one person, you're having a positive impact. Um, trust in that. Trust in that. And being told to say that, I can feel it. <laughs> you're here for a reason. And it's not to be in pain. It's not to be uh, in misery. It's not to be in fear or anger. While it's okay to have all those emotions, it's okay to have those experiences. Sometimes that's how we learn some of our things. We're not going to stay in that state. Our default setting is love, unconditional love. So when we start aligning in little ways throughout our life, in sometimes big ways, when we start returning to that default setting, that's when the magic happens that's when we start realizing our real potential and go back to our true selves. It's all connected. So, so with that, I hope you guys um, got something from that. I certainly did. Um, it was more of an energetic feeling. Um, sometimes it's hard to put these things into human words. So I'm not sure if I did it justice, but even you just looking at this card and getting something from that, if you got something from that, the message was for you. So so that's the Oracle card reading for this week. And that wraps up August all together. I've really enjoyed doing these weekly Oracle card readings. Uh, let me know what you think. I will be continuing them in September. I am going to be doing a video if it's not up by now about uh, my plans for September on this channel and social media in general. So don't miss that. And until the next time, have a wonderful week. I love you all. And always remember, to know thyself is to know thy truth. Namaste.